That's right. You you read that title correctly. I would rather spend 230 plus on a knife than spend 30 on a lock. Now, that may seem controversial, but hear me out. So this lock, this is a really great lock. This is a multi-lock junior. Uh, it's one of the few pin and pin locks available in the American and Canadian market. Um, it's, it's a really great lock. It's got five pins. Um, I'm actually not sure what separates a multi-lock junior from a multi-lock classic. I have no idea. This is a really great lock for learning on, for practicing on. If you had to lock something up with it, I'm sure it'd be great. But, and you can find these on Amazon or on eBay for between 30 and 35, usually. Now, this knife here, regular, this knife is 136. Um, I put on some titanium handles to make it a little bit more secure, I guess. It had somewhat thin plastic handles. This, this knife's extremely light, but I put on titanium handles to make it a little bit more heftier, and the titanium handles were another 100. So all in all, this is a, a $236 knife, which is absurd. That is absolutely absurd. And yet, I would rather spend 236 on a knife than 30 on a lock. And the reason is, these are for practice, these are for fun. I'm not even sure if I could use this on my house if I wanted. Yeah, it's it's not the right size. So, although some houses may be able to use this lock, I cannot. This is just for practice, it's, this is just for fun. I can open it, I can practice with it, I can send it to someone else, but ultimately, that's it. Now, this knife on the other hand, although it costs a lot more money, this has a use. It's something I can have with me basically wherever I go. This is a a tool, and because of that, to me it's worth more. I have a use for this. Since I've, I, I've gotten this knife, I've carried it with me pretty much everywhere. I have it at work, I have it you know, at church, places that do not allow knives, I do not have a knife, and I live in Utah where their knife laws are pretty friendly, pretty lenient. So I know that I can have this knife with me and not run into any legal problems. And I know that this knife, I can use it. This lock, on the other hand, there's only so many ways that I can use it. There are some amazing locks out there that I would love to have, but I have a hard time justifying dropping so much money on something that ultimately is just for a hobby. It's just for fun. I can't really get anything out of it besides the joy and the satisfaction of opening it. This knife has come in handy already, and I'm sure it will continue to come in handy. So as controversial as that may sound, I would rather spend a lot of money on a knife than really not a lot of money on a lock because of what they're for. This has many uses. This, for me, does not have very many uses whatsoever. Now, I'd like to hear in the comments uh, if there is... If there is anything like this in your life where maybe other hobbies you have where you know things may have a, a hefty price tag but you don't think try don't think twice about it because you know that it's worth it but the, when it comes to locks you're like ooh a Peterson gem that that's an eight dollar lock pick like for just the pick it's eight dollars and shipping is gonna be more man that's a lot of money oh this other thing for my other hobby that's thirty five dollars no problem I'll I'll drop that easy. For me, I've always noticed that I'm a little bit hesitant to spend a lot of money on locks, but with knives and things like that, I have no problems whatsoever. So if there's anything like that in your life, please let me know. Um, I'm curious, uh, or maybe you guys think I'm crazy. Maybe you think I should be spending more on locks. If you think I'm crazy to spend this much on a knife, that's fair. I totally understand that. Um, if you would have t told me six months ago I would spend as much on a knife I would have laughed at you but this is a really great knife it's really high quality um, it's made with the the blade steel is s30v so it'll hold an edge for a while it's got good corrosion resistance and essentially this is not I can have for you for the rest of my life so for me that was a worthwhile investment for many of you it probably won't be but that's okay so let me down below if there's anything like this in your life, or if I'm completely crazy, let me know. I'm just curious if I'm the only one that 
that feels that way. Uh, that's all I have. Not a lock picking video per se, but it is lock related. If you have any questions, leave them below. If you liked what you saw, please hit like and hit. Uh, I cannot talk. Please hit like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.